Hello, how are you guys? Today's video is the value of letting go. Um, to talk about it, I'm going to have to talk about uh, some types of love. I think I'll actually do another video on the types of love later on, hopefully, because they have value. Uh, <laughs> I am at a point where I have to let something go, and it's hard for me but I also recognize its value. I am, I have a new job and it is a lovely job and it is well suited to me. And if it is at all like it seems, I haven't yet met very many of my students, but it is much, much more suited to me than my last job. Um, my new job will be teaching 16 to 19 year olds. Yes, Violet, you're very important and you need all of the pets. But it is not IES Lund, where I met some of the greatest Swedish kids that I've ever met in my life. And these kids inspired me and they moved me. And some of them were amazing people. Most of them were amazing people. <clears throat> but I had been holding out hope that... I wouldn't find a job this summer and I would go back and be a substitute there and I would still see those kids and I would, you know, be able to show management how amazing I was. But that's stupid. <laughs> There's no reason for me to do that. There's no reason for me to take a much lower paying job that only works part time and do that when I have almost two master's degrees. <laughs> So, I'm going to talk about the value of letting go. There are a lot of things in literature, in movies, in stories, where not letting go is a good thing. And that can be true. True love, uh, holding on to an ideal or a cause that is actually valuable or that has a chance of working that's good. Dedication is good. But there comes a point when it becomes not only kind of sad, but kind of creepy. When, if you profess your love to someone and they have no interest, let it go. <laughs> if someone is your friend and you want to be more than friends, but they don't, it's not up to you. If you wait long enough, they won't come around. And stories that tell you that they do are not only lies, they're, they're lies told by people who are manipulating you into being a horrible person. If somebody doesn't want to be with you, then it's not your job to make them realize how great you are or to make them realize how poor their choice is on the other side. Because the heart wants what it wants. So don't be Professor Snape because Professor Snape let the one good thing about him, the fact that he loved this person, it let, it, 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 he became a bitter husk. He, he became this person who, admittedly, her love continued to do him good, but it's also just really sad that he didn't move on, that he didn't find someone. And this will tell you something about me. I have loved a lot of people, but I don't think that there's just one person that will make you happy. There's one person that will, that will make you happier than others, but there's not just one. And so if you fall in love young, and it keeps working, great. But if it's not working, or if they don't want to be with you, it's not romantic to be a creeper. It's not romantic to stay friends in the hopes that they'll come back. There comes a point when you have tried all that you have tried. You have done everything that you can to get the person to realize that you love them and that you're right for them. And if it doesn't work, let it go. If they choose to revisit it later, that's fine. But don't wait for it. Don't hope for it. 
my definition of love is that you re that your happiness, your complete happiness, requires their happiness. And if you love someone, you want them to be happy with the person that they want to be with. And if that person isn't you, well, step up. Because you want, the, if you love them, you want them to be happy. Now, that doesn't mean you should encourage people to stay in, a, in negative relationships. But you also shouldn't help somebody out of a negative relationship hoping they'll fall for you. And man, does that one hit close to home. But that's a whole different story. The point is, with work, with, lo with everything you love. And I loved my job at IES. I did. And I loved those kids. But there comes a time when you have to realize that there are better things. There are things that are better suited for you. And sometimes a proper goodbye is the best you can do. A proper goodbye, and, and always remember the campsite rule. I've told you guys the campsite rule before, but I'll repeat it now. Always try to leave the place better than, you, than it was when you got there. And I mentored some people. I helped some people. I mentored some kids, but I also mentored some teachers. And I like to think that I made a bit of a difference. I don't know. I might not have. It may be that I that, that was entirely illusory. But I like to think that I did help some people and that I made a difference in some lives. And if I didn't, please don't tell me. I don't want to hear that in the comments. And I don't necessarily want you to comfort me in the comments either and say, Oh, Mr. Carly, you're the best. Oh, you're the best. I miss you so much. You don't need to do that. I'm not going to stop making these videos. I enjoy making these videos. I'm probably going to have a whole different group of students that give me ignorances that I have to correct. A lot of my students are not going to be from Sweden now, which means that they're going to be, they're going to have some real problems because a lot of them come from places like Syria and Ethiopia and Eritrea and really, really rough places. So the ignorances will be much more forgivable because they're not self-inflicted. But overall, I think that I still have stuff to say. And when I stop having stuff to say, I'll stop having this channel. But right now, I'm still growing. I'm still learning. I, I'm, God help me, SFE is really hard. And it's even harder when your boss realizes you're taking SFE and says, okay, everybody only speaks Swedish to Chris. He can answer in English, but only speak Swedish. Oh, that is rough. Two seven-hour days of no English except what I was saying. That was rough. Anyway, I hope that you know that chances are, if you have found this channel, that I care about you and even love most of you. Some of you I may not know well enough to love. That could change. Sweden is small. Everybody's always like, oh, it's so far away from Lund to Landskrona. And I'm like, no, it's not. Sweden is smaller than Texas, so it's okay. It's okay, guys. It's okay. But the point of this entire video is sometimes you got to know when to let go. And so if you have something in your life that is not doing you any good, that is toxic, or even going to the more modern Mary Kanto thing, if it doesn't spark joy... If you've got a video game you've been playing out of responsibility, or if you have some sort of online fixation that you were super into like three years ago and now you just kind of stay because you feel like you have to, or, you know, honestly, if you've got somebody that isn't a friend that treats you poorly, then let it go. Sometimes a clean break is better than, is better than continuing on in something that's bad. And if you've got a crush that has shown no interest, well, first you should tell her how you feel, or him. Tell them, or they, or whatever pronouns they use, how you feel. Because unrequited love is for suckers. You should, people should know if you love them. They should. And if you just have a crush on them and you're not going to do anything about it, then let that go too. But yeah, let it go. Any of those things that you're not going to do anything about, they're just taking up 
memory in your brain. They're just taking, they're, they're keeping your task manager busy. So let them, let them go. A clean break is better than a messy continuance. Does that make sense? I hope so. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys again, hopefully at least next week. If you have questions, comments, etc., uh, feel free to leave them. Um, most of you who are watching this are already subscribed, so I'm not going to ask for that. But I hope you're good. And I hope that those of you who are starting school enjoy it, because hopefully it'll be awesome. Beep boop.